From the desert oasis of the Coachella Valley to the sun-soaked fields of the Pajaro Valley, our way of life depends on groundwater. It's vital, it's absolutely vital. But in many basins across the state, more groundwater is pumped out than put back in. That overdraft threatens water reliability, and as the USGS is measuring, it can cause land to sink as the aquifer below it is depleted, a phenomenon called subsidence. During the drought, the Central Valley was amongst the highest subsidence rates in the world. Sustainably managing our groundwater is a critical challenge the water community is working together to solve. Groundwater really is more like your savings account, and you can't just keep taking out of your savings account without putting something back. The strawberries grown in the mild Mediterranean climate of the Pajaro Valley are eaten around the world. This is one of the most productive valleys in the state. It's an agricultural economy, and it's vital that we see things growing in our fields. Central Coast growers depend on groundwater, but as they gravitated to higher value, water-intensive crops, aquifer levels dropped and seawater seeped in, threatening to contaminate wells. Pajaro Valley Water Management Agency was established in the 80s to bring the basin back into balance. In a basin that is so heavily reliant on groundwater, we need to ensure that we have a sustainable supply for present and future needs. It's been a long road, but recent studies show what they're doing is working, keeping seawater at bay, nearing basin sustainability. This is the entire community working along with an agency that its purpose is to making sure that water resources are here for future generations. It's something that we all must pay attention to. In some parts of the state, groundwater management dates back more than a century. Growers in Alameda County realized back in the early 1900s, overpumping was causing levels to drop below sea level. And it really was a local initiative, and the Alameda County Water District was the first water district formed in the state under the Caminetti Bill. Back then, the Alameda Creek was the area's sole source of supply, and it's still a critical component today. To protect the resource, Alameda County Water District built inflatable rubber dams to capture water during big storms, then used to recharge the basin. Protecting our natural resources and being a steward of the environment is one of our major objectives. ACWD is part of a major environmental effort, easing access for the endangered Central California Coast Steelhead, building fish screens. With the second of two fish ladders under construction, the basin once critically overdrafted has been operated sustainably for decades. I actually was born and raised within the service area. The water that I was drinking as a kid is the water that we're able to provide to the customers today. There's year-round sun, but precious little rain in the growing Coachella Valley, which depends on groundwater. It's important to the environment. It's important to the vibrant economy that we have. We want to make sure that we're able to replenish that for future generations. Water leaders have worked since the early 1900s to protect it. And here is the Whitewater River, where those first facilities were constructed. It's remarkable the vision that the founders of this water district had. Later, the Coachella Valley Water District and Desert Water Agency joined the State Water Project, which moves water from Northern to Southern California, and through an exchange agreement with the Metropolitan Water District of Southern California, secured supplies from the Colorado River, importing more than one trillion gallons of water. We began to work together. We built spreading basins, basically ponds, where we can bring the water in and, and you know, replenish the aquifer. We had a small community in the 1920s, 1930s, and now we have hundreds of thousands of people here. We know that we need that water supply for sustainability. It's absolutely critical. Spreading ponds, shared by both agencies, stretch for miles. CVWD also operates the Levy Replenishment Facility and in 2019 began basin recharge in the heart of the valley. For the first time in decades, the entire groundwater basin showed a positive gain in total storage. Today, water agencies in every corner of California 
are working with scientists, the state, and local communities to protect our groundwater with the Sustainable Groundwater Management Act, or SIGMA. The new law requires overdrafted basins across California to be brought back into balance, a difficult but important part of providing for the future. The water, if we don't care for it, is not going to be there. We cannot take this for granted. 